Friday night football. Hi, I'm Anthony Hudson. And with me is Melbourne great Gary Lyon. Hi, Hutto. Tonight should be a great match. Tonight, Richmond and Geelong. make their way to the middle for the toss. Richmond kicking to the right of screen. Both these teams coming off good wins last week. Just waiting for the opening siren now. We're ready to go in the middle, and this contest is underway. Put his body on the line, wasting a lot of effort there. Loot to the mark. 40 metres out. They can't afford to be wasting these shots of goal from the corridor. Going for goal number one. Goal! He's excited about that one. The first goal of the match. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Stanley finds possession. Collected by Martin. Taylor unable to lay the tackle. They can create from this. Picked off by Dangerfield. Wins possession. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Edward kicks it. Couldn't take it. Sends the ball inside 50. Takes it well. Elects to kick. Simply outplayed his opponent. Goes with the kick. The boundary line wins this race. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Tap came from Soldo. And now we'll have a ball up. Thumps it clear. Finding the loose ball was Steven. Let's uh, just put it on the boot. A chance to reload the attack now. Ned Curvis goes with the kick. Jenkins wins the foot race. Ball off hands. Dangerfield soccers it forward. Gets the loose ball. McIntosh just fends off his opponent. Chips it towards half forward. Two, he runs after the ball. Ball stripped in the tackle. Ablett dug out the loose ball. Asprey couldn't snaffle it. Keeps it alive. Under some pressure. Gives the old bone argument. Goes by foot. Henderson looks to get onto the football. Does well to get it out. Nan Curvis sends it clear of the contest. A strong pack mark. Lambert keeping it low. The mark has been taken. Might be too far out to score. Duncan runs after this one. Stewart hacking it out of there. Applies a bump. Stephen gathers it now. Stands tall and marks. Rowan puts it on the boot. Edwards did well to win that ball. Moves it by foot. Great mark. Kick by Higgins. Nice hands. Good mark there. 
Clocks him. A long way out. Going for goal number one. A long way from home. And it goes a long way. What a goal. He loved that one. The Tigers have kicked back-to-back -back goals. The margin is 12. Won the hit out. Hits him hard. Pooley gets a quick kick away. Taylor wins the ball in the air. Taylor has resources out wide. Looks up with a kick. Selwood marks and a bit of space. Martin does well to mark. Uses it by foot. The mark is taken by Rich. Richmond kept the lead, but they're allowed plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. He has to play on now. That's a monster kick, and it's a goal. Castagna can put through his first. Congratulated by his teammates. That's three in a row for Richmond. Richmond by three goals. Soldo thumps it clear. Ends up with Graham. Tackle knocks the ball loose. Releases by hand. Jenkins couldn't stick the tackle. Just gets a boot to it. Ablett there to mop up. Edwards unable to hold on. Off hands. Intervening brilliantly was Martin. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. McIntosh off the deck. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Nan Curvis hurls it away. Soccer's a kick. The ball spills to Hooley. Dangerfield gains some territory. Henderson going for number one. Geelong supporters delighted by that effort. He celebrates hard after that. Geelong deliver the first goal. Back in the middle now. Nat Curvis won the duel. Dangerfield with a penetrating handball. Puts it on the boot. Rowan marks uncontested. Good opportunity for Geelong to put a goal through here. Heads it inside 50. Doesn't take the mark. Nat Curvis loses the contest. Martin down. Awkward handball there. Well picked up. Holding the footy. Couldn't see off Dangerfield. Fantastic tackle. This quarter coming to a close. Can he put it through? Sends it home. He acknowledges the crowd. Geelong have kicked the last two goals. Geelong trailing by less than two goals. Hammers it. Dangerfield controlled the difficult ball. High tackle. Decides to go to the middle. Takes the, the end of the final term sees the scores stand. Richmond, 18, to Geelong, 12. Richmond deserved this lead early. They'd want to keep it up if they're going to win this. Anything to add, Gaz? Richmond have had less of the ball, but they still find themselves in front. It's clear that they're using it better, and that's why they lead. The siren sounds for the start of the second quarter. Back in the middle to resume play. Punches it clear. Just dismisses his opponent. Soldo wants to keep it moving by hand. He blasts it through for another. Puts his second on the ball. Kotcher couldn't be happier with that goal. Richmond by two goals. Soldo with the punch. Gets a quick kick away. Scoops it up. Castagna gets the loose ball. Just got the hands in the back there. Castagna sets his sights on the goals. This will certainly test him from this distance. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. Off hands from Blitzards. Off the deck. Decides to soccer it. Weaver picks up the loose ball. I haven't seen him for a while, I guess. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Punched away. He lays off the pass. Picked off the deck. 
under pressure and keeps it alive. Decides to keep it alive. Eventually, the ball goes over the line. Advantage pay. The ball is coming back into play. Nankervis with the hit. Castagna steers it towards goals. He's enjoying that goal. Richmond bleeding by three goals. We're back in motion. Thrashes it. Jenkins has the ball. Turned it over. Nankervis just threw it. Not sure what the problem is from here, but something is definitely wrong. Gaz, can you tell us what you saw? He's coming from the ground now, Hutto, but it didn't look great. Hawkins looks to build some momentum with this kick. He likes his chances from here. It looked impossible, but he made it work. Hawkins loved kicking that one. Geelong reduced the margin. Back with another centre bounce. Richmond are making the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Finds the loose ball, gets the ball out of heavy traffic. A good mark out of the circumstances. Pumps it inside 50. Doing well to intercept that kick. Stanley with a drilling ball. Wins the race to the ball. Rioli goes by hand. Manages to get it onto the boot. Strong mark in the contest. Soldo with a low spearing kick. Buse kicks it to the square. Higgins missed an opportunity to mark. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Thump by Soldo. He's got the footy in his hands. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Collecting high fives now after that goal. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Celebrating hard. Richmond Clee is now 18. About to resume hostilities. Clears the contest. Puts on a big hit. Gets it away. Steven gets on the end of that handball. Hits the target by hand. Finds his man. Drop cut straight through the middle. Hawkins celebrating hard. Geelong close the gap to 12. We resume hostilities. Winning it was Saldo. Martin hurried kick. Takes a strong mark. Steven sends one up towards the wing. Linking by hand. Markov just gets it out of the boot. The kick from Buse. Got hands to it. Finding the ball was Martin. Hacks it out of there. Jenkins with an easy mark. Got the hands free. With the ball now. The mark is taken by McIntosh. Moves the ball by foot. Takes a nice mark. Looks to move it by foot. Takes a simple grab. Richmond are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Cockatoo won himself a free. Mops up the loose ball. Gathers it now. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. His teammates rush over. That's two in a row for Geelong. Geelong behind by six. Thump clear. Has it now. Jenkins dug it out. Clears the ball from the contest. Doing well with the mark. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. Going for goal number one. No issues with that drop punt. A time to celebrate, and don't they get around? Grants. Richmond with the ascendancy over Geelong, leading 42 to 30. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Some great ball movement there, you just knew they were going to score. Geelong need to tighten up once the ball leaves the contest. The opposition are getting lots of uncontested ball and it's hurting them on the scoreboard. Gathered by McIntosh. Collects the loose ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. He can take off after that handball. Open opportunity for Delwood. 
keeps going. Half Gerns a free kick. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Going for goal number one. The drop pass sails between the big sticks. Pretty happy with that one. Geelong now only trailed by six. About to resume play. Swatson is in his possession. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Grimes has resources out wide. Puts boot to ball. Intercepts the ball well. With a driving kick. Two he grabs that one. He drives it. Bolton collects the loose ball. A great defensive effort. Dug out the loose ball. Stewart collects it. Half time and Richmond have the lead by six. A good first half from Richmond. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Here's Gary to take a look at the key stats. Geelong are getting beaten around the contest. Rectifying that problem is key to them gaining control of this match. The third quarter has begun. Centre bounce. Big thump from Saldo. Great control there. He's really making an impact in this game, Gaz. He seems to always be in the contest, I don't Does well to cut off the kick. Asprey bounds some space and marked. Stabs at the kick. He couldn't hang on. Dahlhouse slips the tackler. Driving kick inside 50. That kick hits the post. The margin is now under a goal. Plays on from the kick in. Gets a touch to the ball. Found a way to keep it alive. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. Advantage. The game has tightened right up. Clears the contest. We'll get a ball up. Soldo won the hit out. Cuts it quickly out of the boot. Reva wins the ball in the air. Pumps the ball long. Tui used the body to take that mark. Uses it across half back. Henry found a way to mark that one. Chose to kick it. A solid mark from Delwood. Sinks the slipper into it. Duncan uses the body well. Uses it now. Rioli takes a strong mark. Got boot to ball. Rance takes the mark. Decides to kick. Nice mark under pressure. Henry looking to rebound with his kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. Hurry kick. Tries to release the pressure. Takes possession. Lynch will be the recipient of the free. He might kick a goal. Drop punt through the goals. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. Smiles all round. The Tigers starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 48 to 37. Swatson. Martin onto the ball. Just handballs into space. They can link up now. Slips the handball to Grioli. Guthrie picks up the loose ball. Picks up the loose ball. Shows some physicality. Advantage is taken. Stewart has resources out wide. He takes the mark. Selwood tucks it into the pocket. The ball goes over the boundary in the pocket. Henry running off for a break. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. Markov is streaming past and gets the footy. Punched away. He looks like he needs a spell. Martin was taken high in the tackle. Going for goal number one. He's really turning it on now. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. That's to
two in a row for Richmond. The lead is now 17. Back in the middle now. Richmond are taking advantage of their Ruckman's ability. It gives them first use of the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Soldo leading the ranking points on the ground. He is doing everything wrong. Gets the handball away. Henderson weighing up the options now. Taking a nice grab. Slams it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Richmond haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect the forward to kick a winning title that way. Works it across the ground. Nice work from Henderson. Looks up with the kick. Goes off the ground. Goes for territory. Parsons throws the ball away. Goes by foot. Marked by Asprey. Puts boot to ball. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Dahlhaus moves it now. Rowan gets in a good position. Scoops up the ball. Parker has a chance to put a second goal on the ball. Geelong, good in the three goals now. Richmond could turn the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Great tackle. Fantastic pressure there. Going for goal number one. That goal is a cracker. They get around him after that effort. Just two goals in it. The game is back underway. Soldo thrashes it. Martin gets the handball away. He has the ball. Able to release the kick. Does well to keep it in play. Couldn't go on with it. And the ball goes out. What can you tell us, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto. And we can just sit back and enjoy it. Stanley slams it onto the boot. Releases the handball. He's got the football now. Outstanding pressure. Goes by hand to Carford. Opportunity once again for Geelong to put one through. 50 metres out. Lining up on a bit of an angle here is Nenegola. Goes for the goals. Marks now can send it back. Grimes going for distance with the kick. Cochin looking to track down the footy. Going for goal number one. Unable to put that one through. It's under two goals now. Broad looking to bring it back into play. And there's the siren to end the third quarter. The scores are Richmond 55 to Geelong 45. Richmond believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. Soldo having an impact right now. He is dominating this game. Time to find out what happens in this final turn. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Taken by Dangerfield. Puts it into space. It's a turnover. Martin rushes with the kick. It's marked by Lynch. 45 metres out. Should be relatively straightforward from here. If they just maintain position and hold onto the ball for a moment, they should be able to hold on here. He delivers with the drop pass. Look at them celebrate that effort. Now they lead by 16. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Richmond are taking their time and kicking the smart options inside 50, and that's having a real bearing on this match. Great tackle. What can you tell us, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch.
Here's Stanley. He gets his hands on the footy. He gains possession. He's got the football now. Slick with the hands. Has a man running for him. Drop puck straight through the middle. Gets some rewards for his efforts. Just under two goals, the difference now. Back in the middle now as the rucks go at it. Punches it clear. He has the ball. Has it now. Selwood kicks hurriedly. Goal scoring opportunity for Henderson. He drives it. Takes the mark. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. He gives it a run. Kept his head and kept the goal. Of course not. Dangerfield gets number two. He's enjoying that goal. Geelong have kicked the last two goals. Geelong close the gap to four. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. A long driving kick. Well taken at ground level. Hawkins gets on the end of this. Uses it now. Henderson needs a chance to rest. Movement by hand. A chance to steal the lead right here. Wow! How good was that? He acknowledges the crowd. They've hit the front. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That's a really good team goal. Richmond have been controlling stoppages and lead the clearances. If they can clean up their ball use after the clearance, they can give themselves a chance. Rowan decides to soccer it. Then a goal over the shorthand pass. He slams it towards goal. Smiles all around. That's four in a row for Geelong. Bay points the difference. Thump clear. Uses the bump. Unable to create the space. Great attack on the ball carrier. The loose ball picked up. Never really looked like going through. The Tigers now only trail by seven. Geelong could have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Mark in space was doing. Puts it on the boot. Gets into a good position to take it. Looks like the ball will be coming back. 45 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. Going for goal number one. He makes that kick count. Full cross. He just loved that one. Richmond reduced the margin. Hammers it. The bounce made it tough for Hamlet. Lambert collects the loose ball. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Dug it out. Goes off the ground. Collected by Buse. Lobs the handball. Doing well was Henry. With a driving kick. Lots of pressure out there at the minute. Thumps it clear. Henderson coming on. Will get a stoppage. Soldo got a fist to it. Just goes bang. Puts on a bump. Hands that ball to the opposition. Knew what was coming. Just gives it away. Cleanly picked up. Dangerfield with a chance for a third goal today. Congratulated by his teammates. Geelong lead by seven. Umpire ready to resume play. Thrashes it. He wins possession. Abler kicks out of the congestion. A great mark taken there. Hooley drives the kick. Winning the ball in the air was Graham. 
Elects to kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Geelong are allowing too many marks inside the opposition 450. They continue to get beaten in this area. They'll find it difficult to keep the lead. A chance to reload the attack now. Does well to cut off the kick. Gets some distance on the kick. Here's a chance for Higgins. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Going for goal number one. Ball hits the deck. Manufactures a handball. Stewart just dismisses Perrault. Guthrie clicks for the teammate who can run. The possession calls the turnover. Keeps it moving. At full stride, receives the handball. Ball up in the centre square. Thump clear. Higgins turns a free kick. Uses it by foot. Intercepts the ball very well. Taylor tucks it into the pocket. Finds himself in space and marks. Tui elects to kick. An easy grab for Duncan. Sinks the slipper into it. Found space for an easy mark. Geelong. Coach will be happy with today's performance. Gaz, what did you think of today's game? It's just a bit of class that sets them apart today and a bit more polish when they needed it most. That's why they walk out here with us. Well, much appreciated, Gaz. Final scores are 75 to 68. That's all for today. On behalf of myself and Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. It's been my pleasure, Hutto, and we look forward to having everyone back soon.